Hi everyone! Welcome to Craft and Crochet. Today I'm bringing another so beautiful and really easy and so lovely blanket. These two blankets are so lovely. You can see these both blankets are little bit different than my other baby blanket. These both blankets are so lovely. I made this both blanket with the two different color blue color and a pink color blue color one for the baby boy and pink color one for the baby girl especially about this blanket you can make this blanket with your love i hope this will be a perfect gift for you little one this blanket is really easy to make even beginners can make too i love this both blanket i hope you will love too if you like this video please thumbs up and share and comment down below if you're new for my channel don't forget to join with my thousand of subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon if you miss my previous video please click on my channel name craft and crochet under this video icon you can get my all previous video in here this all videos are with the subtitle too okay before we start let's see how it look like this both blanket you can see I made this blanket with the little squares with the heart on the middle when you join these squares together it's coming extra pattern for this blanket diamond shape you can see here then make this blanket more beautiful this blanket is a perfect size for the babies I'm gonna use today white color yarn i'm using three white color yarn ball and uh, if you're gonna make a pink blanket you need one pink yarn ball if you're gonna make a blue blanket you need one blue yarn ball hold together four yarn ball for one blanket this yarn is double knitting yarn this yarn recommend hook is four this yarn ball have a 100 gram yarn and 300 meters we need three white yarn ball and this blue color yarn is the double knitting yarn this yarn ball recommend hook is four millimeter crochet hook all together i need 350 yarn for this one blanket if you're going to make a pink blanket it look like this we need three yarn ball for white and one yarn ball for the pink if you're going to make a blue blanket you need three yarn ball white and one ball for blue and i'm going to use four millimeter crochet hook first i'm going to show you how to make this heart it's really really easy it's start with the two round I'm using blue color yarn and a 4 millimeter crochet hook to begin magic ring into this magic ring you start with the chain 3 1 2 3 into this magic ring 2 double crochet 1 double crochet and a two double crochet now i have all together two double crochet with the chain three all together three double crochet chain two one two into this magic ring again three double crochet one double crochet two double crochet and a three double crochet again chain two one two again three double crochet into this magic ring one two and three again chain two one two three more double crochet into this magic ring one two and three and two more chain one two 
now i'll finish this first round you can see here with three double crochet chain two three double crochet chain two and three double crochet all together i have a 12 double crochet with the chain eight join with this first round with the third chain using by slip stitch this is the first round you can see this first round have a four corner this two chain space i gonna count with the corner next i gonna make the second round this hard have only two round next round is start with you can see here i have a three double crochet into the next double crochet slip stitch now i'm gonna start this hard start with the chain one you can see here i have a four corner into this first corner i'm gonna make double crochet now i have a one double crochet two double crochet three four five six seven eight eight double crochet one two three four five six seven eight eight double crochet again chain one into the next corner this is the second corner into the next corner one single crochet again chain one you can see next have a three double crochet opposite to this side skip one double crochet into the next double crochet single crochet one single crochet into the same space one more single crochet now i have a two single crochet chain one again into the same space two more single crochet one two now we are finished one side again chain one into the next corner single crochet again chain one into this fourth corner this is the fourth corner into this fourth corner same number of double crochet for this corner I made eight double crochet for other side and I'm gonna make eight double crochet for this side now I have a three double crochet four five six seven and eight eight double crochet now is both side is same chain one i'm gonna join with this middle double crochet into this double crochet slip stitch now i can cut this yarn you can see this i'm using only two round to finish this heart now I finish this heart. It look like this. We have to finish like this. We have to hide this yarn. Pink one look like this. I made this heart with the two round. This is the first round. This is the second round. Second round have a twenty nine stitches. Now I'm using yarn needle to hide this yarn. Before we make the square for this heart we have to hide this yarn
Now we are going to cut this yarn too closer. It looks like this. We need 30 heart for the one blanket, 30 blue and 30 pink for my both blanket. I use this yarn ball to make 30 heart, this much left. Next I am going to make into this heart a square. Then I am going to use the white color yarn. You can see I am using white color yarn to make a, this square. And this square have a four corner with the chain space. This is the pink one. This heart second round have a 29 stitches. This both side same. You can see here have a four corner. I'm going to start this square with this chain. You can see here have a two single crochet, chain one and two single crochet. Then I'm going to start this start with this chain I'm using only back loop start with the chain one into the next stitch single crochet I'm using only back loop into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet you can see I'm using only back loop double crochet Now I have a chain 1, single crochet, half double crochet and double crochet, chain 2 into the next stitch, 1 double crochet. Now you can see I have a first corner, this is the first corner into the next stitch, 1 half double crochet. I'm using only back loop. Now I have a one double crochet and one half double crochet. I'm dragging this yarn under this stitch. Into the next five stitch, I'm going to make five single crochet. Now I have a two stitches. Third one is the single crochet. Fourth one is single crochet. Fifth one single crochet. Sixth one single crochet and seven one is single crochet now I have a seven stitches for this side two is the first corner I'm gonna make second corner now chain two into the next stitch single crochet is the second corner into the next stitch again single crochet into the next stitch again single crochet now I'm going to skip one stitch in here into the middle of this double crochet into this double crochet one half double crochet you can see I'm um, skip one stitch into the this double crochet one half double crochet this side have a three single crochet into the other side again three single crochet each side we need seven stitches one single crochet two single crochet and three single crochet now I'm gonna make third corner chain two one two into the next stitch single crochet same like this side, 5 single crochet with the 1 double crochet and 1 half double crochet, 2 single crochet, 
3 single crochet, 4 single crochet and 5 single crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch 1 double crochet now I am going to make last corner fourth corner chain 2 1 2 into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into this last stitch one single crochet now you can see here have a four stitches and this side have a three stitches into this chain space one single crochet into this same space one single crochet next into the next three stitches are gonna make slip stitch one two slip stitch and three slip stitch now I'm in a corner now you can see I have a four corner one two three four each side have a seven stitches this side seven seven and this side seven I skip in here one stitches we have a 29 stitches then I'm using only 28 stitches now I'm going to make a second round start with the chain three one two three this is the first double crochet into this chain two space one more double crochet now i have a two double crochet chain two one two into this same space two more double crochet one two next i'm going to make into this each is stitch one double crochet now I have a three double crochet four five six seven eight nine into this chain space two double crochet 10 and 11 into this chain space chain 2 1 2 into the same space 2 more double crochet 1 2 you can see in this side have a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 double crochet in this side we need same number of double crochet now I have a two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine into this chain space, two double crochet. 10 and 11 chain 2 1 2 into this same space 2 more double crochet again into this this side same number of double crochet now I have a 2 3 four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven into this chain space ten and eleven double crochet 
chain 2, 1, 2, into the same space, 2 more double crochet, 1, 2. Now I'm going to make last side. You can see I made this 3 side with 11 double crochet. This side have a 2 and this side have a 2, altogether 4. This time I'm not going to make one double crochet for here. I'm going to use this last stitch to make last double crochet. Then I'm using this stitch to make one double crochet. You can see I'm skip one. Now I have a three double crochet, four double crochet, five double crochet, six double crochet, seven double crochet, eight double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need one more double crochet. I'm using this chain space to make a last double crochet. This is the 11 double crochet. Join with the third chain using by slip stitch. I'm going to use one more slip stitch to go into this corner. Now you can see it's nice and neat. In this side have 11 double crochet but no space. And each side have 11 double crochet. I'm going to start third round. Start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Into the same space 1 double crochet. Now I have a chain 3 with the 1 double crochet, chain 2, 1, 2, into the same space, 2 more double crochet, 1, 2. Next I'm going to make it stitches to 1 double crochet. Now I have a 3 double crochet, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen double crochet into this chain space. Fourteen and fifteen. Chain 2, 1, 2, into the same space, 2 more double crochet, 1, 2, again I'm going to make it stitches to 1 double crochet, now I have a 4 double crochet, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen into this chain space. Chain two, two more double crochet into this chain space. Again into this eight is stitches to one double crochet. Now I have a three double crochet. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Sorry. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14 and 15 into this chain space, chain 2, 1, 2 into the same space, 2 more double crochet, now I have a 2 double crochet and in this side have a 2 double crochet, I'm going to make into the e double crochet to 1 double crochet, now I have a 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, 
12 into this slip stitch last stitch 13 double crochet now I have a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 join with the third chain using by slip stitch I'm using one more slip stitch to go on this corner now I finish three round for this square. You can see in this square, I am finish this square with the four round. One, this two, three, four, four round. This last round I made with the three chain for each corner. Start with the chain three. One, two, three. This is the first double crochet. One double crochet into the same space. Now I have a two double crochet. This time chain three. One, two, three. Into the same space. Two more double crochet. One, two, next into this each is stitch. One double crochet. Now I have a three double crochet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19 double crochet into this chain space, 19, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, into the same space, 2 more double crochet, 1, 2, 3, Again, this each is stitched to one double crochet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19 into this chain space and chain 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 chain into the same space, 2 more double crochet, 1, 2 into this each stitch one double crochet now I have a three double crochet four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, 18 and 19 into this chain space. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3, into this same space, 2 more double crochet. 1, 2, now you can see I have a two double crochet for this side and two double crochet for this side. I need 15 more double crochet to finish this side. I'm going to count in this corner. Now I have a three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen for this slip stitch. Seventeen with this two double crochet all together nineteen. Join with the third ten using by slip stitch. I'm using one more slip stitch to go into this corner. Now I can cut this yarn. This the square for this blanket. I'm finished four round. If you make pink one, it look like this. You can see I made four round. Take one yarn ball to finish this 15 squares 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 square you can make with the one yarn ball is enough for making 30 square for two yarn ball. I made this 30 square with the four hours. Here I have a 30 squares. This is my 30 pink squares. I take 4 hours to finish this 30 square for each color. We need 30 square for one blanket. This is my pink 30 square. This is the blue 30 square. Let's see how long this. Here I have a 5 inches for this side and this side have a 5 inches. This square, each side have a 5 inches in 4 side. Next I am going to show you how to join this squares together. In my previous video, I show how to join the squares using the same stitch. If you missed that, I give you a link in the description down below. I'm going to show you a little bit for in here with the different color yarn. But I'm using white color yarn to join these squares. I'm using only back loop. You can see in here. This square back loop and this side back loop with the slip stitch. It's really easy. It's the, my favorite stitch when I make the blanket. Using only back loop. To join this square with the slip stitch. Next, I'm going to show you how to join the four squares, two more squares. Now I finish these two into this last chain, one slip stitch. You can see in my how to join the squares video properly. I give a in link in the description down below. First, we have to join one side squares line like this. You can see in this blanket, I'm using same color yarn to join this square, white color yarn. You can see I'm using this side to join these 30 squares. 
first I'm doing one side in my previous video animal blanket video you can see full blanket how to join it next I'm gonna join in this side It's really easy to join this way. All the squares together. If you want to see how to join this full blanket, you can see in an animal blanket video. I give it the link in the description down below. Now I finished join these squares together. It's look like this. You can see this is stitch is really nice. Now you can see in this side have a one, two, three, four, five squares, and this side one, two, three, four, five, six, six squares. All together thirty squares for this blanket. Next, I'm going to show you how to make the border for this blanket. Then I'm going to start with this corner with the same hook, 4 millimeter crochet hook. I'm using white color yarn with this corner. I join this yarn with the chain 3, 1, two three into the same space one double crochet now I have a three chain with the one double crochet chain two one two into the same space two more double crochet one two Next, I'm going to make each double crochet to one double crochet. You can see I'm using this each double crochet to make one double crochet. Next, I'm going to show you how to make in here. Into this chain space, two double crochet, one, two, next, into this, this join line, this slip stitch, into this space, one double crochet, this time I'm going to use this yarn tail too. Again into this chain space, two double crochet. You can see I'm using five double crochet for this space. Next into this each double crochet to again one double crochet. Again into this chain space, two double crochet in this line one and into here two double crochet. Follow this pattern to this corner. Next, I'm going to show you how to make this corner. Now, I finish in this side with the double crochet. You can see in nice and neat. 
I'm going to show you how to make the second corner into this chain space two double crochet one two chain two one two into the same space two more double crochet one two again into this each double crochet two one double crochet and each corner it's come like this two double crochet two chain with the two double crochet this is space to come in two double crochet into this line one double crochet in this chain two is space to two double crochet and this each corner is coming two double crochet with the chain two again with the two double crochet next i'm going to show you how to finish this round now i finished this first round for this border join with the third chain using by slip stitch now i'm going to cut this white color yarn I finished first round with the same color yarn. You can see in this side and this side is same number of double crochet and this both side is same number of double crochet. We need multiple of three for this each side. Next I'm gonna show you how to make this border for this blanket. For this blue blanket I'm using blue color yarn for next round. Now I'm gonna join the second color for this blanket I'm gonna skip one two three double crochet and join with the this space blue color yarn for this pattern we need number of three multiple of three double crochet for each side start with the chain three one two three into this corner single crochet chain three one two three again into this corner one single crochet chain three one two three skip three double crochet into this space one single crochet chain three skip three double crochet one single crochet chain three skip three double crochet one single crochet chain three skip three double crochet single crochet follow this pattern to this corner now you can see in this side I made three chain with the single crochet next I'm going to show you how to turn this corner skip three double crochet single crochet chain three skip three double crochet into this chain space single crochet with the chain three and one more single crochet chain 3 skip 3 double crochet single crochet chain 3 skip 3 double crochet and single crochet this is the corner each corner it's coming like this I'm gonna show you end of this round now I finish this blue color with this round into this space single crochet into this chain space slip stitch now I can cut this yarn now I finish two round for this border first round I finish with the white color second round I made with the blue color you can see 
it's look like this we need same number of chain space for each side for start second round i'm gonna make into this chain space three double crochet you can see in here i'm gonna show you how to start with the white color yarn i'm gonna start with this chain space then i can show you how to turn this corner start with the three chain into the same space two more double crochet again skip single crochet into this chain space three double crochet into this corner three double crochet two and three chain two one two into the same space three more double crochet one two three again into the next chain space three double crochet this next corner is coming same like this. 3 double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this blanket. I'm going to show you how to finish this round. Now I finished third round with the white color yarn. It looks like this. I'm going to finish with three double crochet into this chain space and join with the third chain using by slip stitch. You can see this pattern in my previous video, cardigan video. I'm using the same stitch. Next round, start with the blue color yarn into this space. I'm going to join this blue color yarn. Start with the chain three, one, two, three. Into this corner, one single crochet chain three one two three again into same space one single crochet chain three one two three skip three double crochet and single crochet chain three skip three double crochet and single crochet this pattern is really easy and really simple Follow this pattern all around to this blanket. This round is going three double crochet up to single crochet. I'm going to show you in this blanket. Each corner need three double crochet with the chain two, and you have to make this blanket with the four round for white color round and a four round for the pink color. You can see here. I'm going to show you in this blanket how to finish last round. Chain 3, skip 3 double crochet into this space, single crochet. Chain 3, skip 3 double crochet into this space, single crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this blanket. We need eight time for this round you can see here i have a four white and a four round with the second color next i'm going to show you how to turn this last round in a corner chain three 
into this corner single crochet chain 3 again single crochet into this same space chain 3 skip 3 double crochet single crochet same like before you can see in last round it's coming like this next I'm gonna show you how to finish this last round with the this blanket chain 3 into this space single crochet into this chain space slip stitch now I can cut this yarn You can see I um, finished all blanket, the second color, this much left. All together we need 350 gram. Now I am using yarn needle to hide this yarn. When you hide the yarn, use the same color to hide the same color yarn. I am using pink color yarn. To pink hide pink color yarn and white color to white color yarn then you can get the nice finishing all together I take nearly six hours to finish each blanket End of this video, I'm going to show you how long this blanket. Let's cut this yarn to closer. Now I finish this blanket. I take nearly six hours to finish this each blanket. It's really easy. We need 350 gram for each blanket. Let's see how long this blanket. I hope everyone will love this blanket. It's so lovely. In this side. It's coming. Thirty five inches is perfect size for baby, and other side is coming. When you finish your blanket, you can share with my Facebook page. I'll give you a link in the description down below. It's a perfect size for baby blanket, and uh, its side is coming forty inches. I hope this lovely blanket will be a perfect gift for your little one. I hope you will love this blanket. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. See you again with another video.